So in this video, I dragged my buddy Ian out for a little shoot at a, a spot nearby us. And I took the three Sigma Primes, the 16, the 30 and the 56 mil, just so I could show you guys a bit of a comparison. The 16 mil, as you can imagine, isn't great for portraits. If you are going to take close-up shots, you're going to need to get the subject in the centre of the frame. Otherwise, you know, it's, to be honest, it just it makes their face look quite distorted. But that being said, it's such a sharp lens and it's, it's still great for full body portraits. As much as I have a bit of a weakness of shooting everything at 1.4, I've taken a couple of these shots at smaller apertures like f10, f11, just so you guys can get a bit of an idea of the bokeh comparison between sort of, you know, a couple of different apertures. I've got a real soft spot for the 30mm. It's the first prime that I bought when I got into this camera system. And when I first got it, I shot absolutely everything with it, all my videos, all my photos, and in my opinion, it's still the most versatile lens out of the three primes. It also happens to be the cheapest, so if you're looking for a good all-rounder to get going with, this is probably your best bet. Finally, we've got the 56mm, which you might be able to tell recently if you've been watching some of my videos. It's my favourite of the three Sigma lenses, especially seeing as I like shooting portraits. It really is the go-to lens out of the three primes for taking portraits with. The bokeh you get with it at 1.4 is awesome. I just love the characteristics of the lens. Obviously, being on a crop sensor camera, you're actually getting the equivalent of more like an 85mm on you know full frame equivalent which makes it a perfect focal length for portraits. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you're new around here, please think about liking and subscribing, and I'll see you again in the next one.